Bears and the Jacksonville Jaguars. The punter Logan Cook set to start the proceedings and we are underway here in Jacksonville. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. This is Gordon on first down. And some room to run now. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Big article in the paper this morning talking about how they wanted to get chunk plays in the run game. Well, early on, there's a good one. There is, and for guys on defense, they've got to remember the old adage. You've got to meet force with force. And if you don't, you get run over, as they did on that last play. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. On second and nine, Prescott. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Looking to throw, Prescott. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Jags are going to get it back here just past the 35. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, but at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. On first and ten, it's ETN. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. A pretty good looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards, just short of the line to gain. The Jaguars at 6-7, and seven, a game under 500 on the year. Now they were losers last time out, trying to turn things around here in this one. And it always helps to have a home crowd behind you, giving you encouragement as long as you give them something good to cheer about. So you know they just want to come out and play well for their faithful, and I expect them to do just that. On second down, a run with ETN. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they were fantastic a week ago in that win over Houston. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. Flush to his right. And out of bounds right around the 20. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. On play action, Lawrence. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. 
Demarcus Lawrence racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. Now Lawrence. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Patterson's kick is good. And the Jaguars grab a 3-0 lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. For the first time out, they had the interception. That stopped their drive three points the other way, so now they work from behind. They do, but he's got to walk out on the field like he's working from ahead. All right, he's got to walk out like, hey, I just threw a touchdown pass because all eyes on his team are on him. They gain their confidence from the way he reacts, his demeanor, and how he plays. He's got to show that he has confidence in himself. Not enough there for a first. No game, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And Gordon's going to be stopped short. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. So problems with Aaron passing continuing. Remember, he threw two picks in the loss last week and now another here in this first quarter. And sometimes, partner, this is the result of a quarterback who's simply trying to do too much. Feels like he's trying to make up for what he did last week, and he can't do it all on one throw. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. They're looking at a second and eight now from the 10. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott catches made. It's Schultz on the out route. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. Now here's Pollard, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Tony Pollard with his 13th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-3 the score on EA Sports.
The Jacksonville hey. offense set to begin their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Lawrence will throw. And that is incomplete. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. No, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Well, the mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. got to stay with it. That's true. Now Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. This is brought in at the 21. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they currently sit one game over 500 thanks to their victory a week ago. Yeah, Charles, they've been really an up-and-down team all year. Do you think that they have enough to get into the playoffs? Well, you did mention they've been up and down all year, so to me, it depends on what week you catch them. When they're at their best, I think they're definitely playoff worthy. But to me, they haven't been able to bring the intensity week in and week out, and that could be their Achilles heel. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Third down, it's Prescott. And this one is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. And that is incomplete trying to get that one to his tight end and they've been trying to get the ball to him but as of yet unable to successfully complete one but you know there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw into the tight end great sight lines usually right in the middle of the field line of scrimmage the 31 as they line up second and 10 they go play action with Lawrence throw left side complete to Ingram and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line Straight ahead, ETN. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming out. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From the 44, Lawrence. And this is incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. This offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Now Lawrence. This one incomplete. Almost picked off by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt.
Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? All right, second down, Gordon wants more. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Prescott to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion. And that should get him off the field with a three and out. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. On the return, here's Agnew. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Jags will have great field position to start this drive as they take over on the short side of the field. It happens. ETN up the middle. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. It'll be a gain of two. And speaking of twos, it'll take us to the two minute warning. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I am. miles away and smiling. And happy. On second down, ETN once more. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 49 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Another toe for ETN. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked by Trayvon Mullen. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, CD, that's a huge play by this defense in a close ball game. And I think he was trying to just extend the play there, getting outside the pocket, but he throws a costly pick six. Yeah, he's trying to find someone open. You're exactly right. He wasn't looking to run. He was looking to throw. The result, not good for him. They were more than happy on the defensive side to gather that one in and take it to the house. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 15. 56 yards, the punt that time. 12 on the return. And they will take over first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with a 14-3 advantage already, we'll see how much they want to try to push things, if at all. Prescott on first down. Open man, it's Preston Williams. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. And the slot man goes in motion left. A first down throw for Prescott. He'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 34 yards the gain that time, another first down. Here's Prescott. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, a 31-yard attempt. The kick by Maher is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top as we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis operating Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Jaguars with work to do. They trail here as we are back underway on EA Sports. This taken in at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. 
He'll air this one out for Kirk. Well, that's the third interception for Lawrence. Picked off by Kelvin Joseph. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. As they started that drive, I think they looked at the scoreboard and said, this is a manageable deficit, guys, but let's go ahead and start cutting it down right here. Instead, an interception happened, so a two-possession game might become three. So as we get going here in the second half, this could rapidly reach the point where there isn't enough time left for a comeback if their defense doesn't bail them out. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Prescott from the gun on third. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Throwing. Prescott. Got his man. It's Williams. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. In motion, the tight end. Prescott looks to throw on first. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. On second and ten, Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Schultz. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A game there of 30 big ones. They came out with an aggressive mindset to start the third quarter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them take more of these type of deep shots as this game moves along. They connected there. They expect to connect on more before this one's over. First down, Prescott. This pass complete to Pollard on the out route. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. This gain not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard with touchdown number 15 of the year and second of the game. And the Cowboys take a three-touchdown lead. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. 
And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start to drive it to 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Finding ETN here, catching it on the out route. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Here's Lawrence. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Play action. It's Lawrence. He'll find ETN out of the backfield. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Hey, exit! On third and goal, Lawrence. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked and multiple players broke through the line to get him. Third and goal, they decided to throw for it. But how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. Patterson's kick is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We're off to the fourth quarter here in Week 15. Happy Holland. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Prescott. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Third and short yardage, Prescott. He's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's one heck of a third down conversion, a pickup of 39. Even with the big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. First and ten, Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And he gets it all the way down inside the ten. And mark him at the five. 25 yards that time. Hey, 
Now Prescott. Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard, a five-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Throwing again on second and 10, Lawrence. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. On second and nine, Lawrence. They'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Here's Lawrence to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. On second and goal, Lawrence. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Damone Clark. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and eight. And 47. Go 46, 46. 46. Prescott now. He's airing it out for Williams. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Mar on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 
out as the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Uh, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. To throw again on second down. Lawrence, ETN bringing in another one. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going? And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. Throwing again here, it's Lawrence. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is taken in at the five. It's a big play for the Jaguars. 49 yards. And sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was... And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that will cut this lead down to 25. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. But I took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. But I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came... Instrumental, I took back the key to this.